Teachers have been using Smart Notebook for a long time, and now we want to try to transition over to Google Slides so that we can use this new technology like Pear Deck and Nearpod to really make things interactive for our students when we're teaching from long distance. So I'm going to show you how to do it. We do have to open up our Smart Notebook file, and I have one that's open on the screen right now. It's not that difficult to do, but we are going to export it first as a PowerPoint. So I'm going to go up to File, I'm going to go down to Export As, and then I'm going to pick PowerPoint. Find a place on your desktop where you're going to be able to find it once again. So I'm going to leave it as Integers, and I'm going to call it PowerPoint. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our Google Drive and we're going to import that PowerPoint presentation and then change it into Google Slides. I'm going to go to New, File Upload. I'm going to find the integers PowerPoint that I just saved and I'm going to open that up. That's going to load inside of my Google Drive and I could put that into a folder if I wanted to. Now what I want to do is find it. Here it is. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to open with Google Slides. And one of the things that you're going to notice at the very top is that it is in Microsoft PowerPoint format. So we want to change that because we did download it as a PowerPoint. So that's not hard to do. We're going to go to File and go down to Save as Google Slides. And now what you're going to see is it will open up in Google Slides. I'm going to X out of my PowerPoint version. And in fact, I could go into Google Drive and delete the PowerPoint version of this now. If I wanted to, I could change the name of it up here. But what you're going to notice that we didn't have in the PowerPoint version of this is that we now have access to Pear Deck. And if you have Nearpod as well, we now have access to Nearpod. Both of them are going to be able now to interact with our Smart Notebook slideshow that we had. So any slide that you want to add in from Pear Deck or from Nearpod, you're going to be able to do that from your Smart Notebook slideshow file. So now I'm going to show you what this looks like in the student pace mode and we're going to see if we're still able to interact with all of the pieces that were already on the slides that we had in our smart notebook. We want to keep functionality. So I'm going to go in as a student and now as I go through here I can go through these slides as fast as I need to or as slow as I need to and it will just adjust so most of the formatting you can see stayed the same but what I wanted to get to was I wanted to see if these chips were able to move and that's the bad part this is not able to move this is something where we would have to make it so that this would be an interactive slide through Pear Deck or through Nearpod for our students and we would have to change this slide so that they would be able to interact with it at that point. So on the positive side you are able to get slideshows in from Smart Notebook but on the downside if you have interactive elements already on those slides that are on Smart Notebook you're going to have to change those over if you're going to use Pear Deck or Nearpod so that students have that interactive function 